Panic shopping is already happening. More people every day are waking up and seeing the need for preparedness. As preppers, we are ready. But just in case you haven't heard, shortages in all products are about to get worse. In the first half of 2020, product shortages were already becoming an issue. Cargo ships started backing up and sometimes they'd be waiting two weeks to get unloaded. The product shortages will lead to hyperinflations. And there are many reasons to be concerned about hyperinflation. For example, trillions of dollars have been printed and passed out in the form of stimulus plans. Interest rates have been at zero and will remain there for their f the foreseeable future. Here's some items you might want to stockpile before hyperinflation hits. Food. It's always a good idea to have a few months supply of food on hand. Prices are already up. The cost of expanding your freezer capacity might pay for itself in the near future. Water. Grocery stores are already limiting bottled water purchases. It might take a few trips to get stocked up. So don't pass on the larger container sizes. If you can, get a water filtration system and refill your bottles. It's not a given that the water bottle manufacturers will have the sources they need to produce the bottles in the first place. Medicine. Pain relievers, anti-inflammatories, cold medicines, fever reducers, antibiotic creams, band-aids, and just general first aid supplies. Fuel sources. Propane, butane, charcoal, lighter fluid, or whatever supplies you might need to cook some food in a power outage. I also like to have extra propane for Mr. Heater Buddy, which is an indoor safe heater. Candles are always nice to have for lighting in a power outage, or just to save electricity. Tools. With the price of goods and services going up, it's a good idea to fix or build the things you can. Tools come in handy for all do-it-yourself projects. Clothing. Many clothing products are made in other countries and get shipped to us. So make sure you have enough clothing, shoes, jackets, gloves for all your family members. Pet supplies. Don't forget about your critters. Self-security. Guns, ammo, mace, motion detectors, security cameras, and of course your dog. These are all deterrents for the opportunists looking for an easy target. Batteries. It almost goes without saying, yet batteries are often overlooked. Until you need some. So get stocked up while you can. Barter items. Many barter items are available at the dollar store, like candles, matches, toothpaste, hygiene items, batteries, medicine, paper products, just to name a few. <coughs> gold and silver. When inflation hits, gold and silver are a popular safe haven against a falling dollar. Paper products. After COVID-19 hit, it seemed like toilet paper and paper towels might be more important than all other items. This is not true, but they're still important, so get some stocked up. Fire starter, firewood. And if you have a fireplace, a wood burning stove, or a fire pit, get stocked up on these supplies. And last but certainly not least is extra income sources. This is one of the things I missed during COVID like lockdowns. I only had one source of income, and when we had no work to do, I found myself digging into savings to pay bills. So try to set up multiple sources of income if you can. In conclusion, product shortages are here, and they promise to get worse as the world tries to get back to normal. In my opinion, if there's a lesson to be learned, it's that we as a country need to be more self-sufficient. Be safe out there. Thank mm -hmm. you.